Aloha and welcome back. I'm Fade Panther and this is Odd Sparks, an automated adventure. Uh, we are on the Trains and Trades update. <clears throat> Which has already had some very, very useful um, updates. I'm not going to go too far into this particular episode. Maybe half an hour or so. Um, let's see, I need to get Crafty Spark, which I have in my inventory. Um, 40 Stumpy Sparks. I can make this. Uh, missing five stone to do that again. So let's take a look here. We've got... Let's go do some exploring first. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, this is perfect. That's a giant fuck you. Fine, we won't work it here. Where'd the music go? Hello? Is that by these, but that's not helpful if they're not right by a giant tree. What about over here? Some more stations. Here's a solid chunk of those, but that doesn't help me if they're not by trees! Uh. What? 
What are you? Artie Spark. Oh no. Ancient Bucket? Okay. I say oh no because I'm currently like, hey, how are they going to do X things? And I know that the logic gates have come out and um, they've given usage for um, the scout sparks. However, that doesn't change the fact that one time you sparks are still I find them counterproductive for the type of feel this game has but that's just me I'm weird uh the flow me spark yeah And I, I can already hear the discussion of, like, well, if you want them to not be um, one-time use, how would you go about dealing with, and then insert whichever one. Let's take the Flomey Spark. Um, the Flomey Spark. Okay, it helps. Uh, what it's supposed to do is you toss it, and it, in a certain area, just makes all of the, the vegetation grow back. Cool problem because it is it's not expensive to make but some of the other ones do take stumpy sparks to make which is a problem because you're already having so many stumpy sparks used in so many other recipes that you're you're making a bottleneck and anyone who has done factory type stuff the more bottlenecks you have the less enjoyable the game becomes because you still have to do those bottlenecks on repeat all right so um we can go look that way i think that might have some so how would it handle it without like taking away the floby sparks or the scouty sparks or stuff like that um for the floby sparks that's pretty easy you toss them in an area and much like how normal sparks would uh start trying to harvest something they do re the reverse they would take a, a a set amount of time and just focus on recultivating areas they wouldn't be expended but at the same time you couldn't use them and you'd have to protect them while they're doing that sort of thing which again isn't that big of a problem if the area is safe when it's not safe it becomes a bit of more of an issue but whatever you guys clearly want a more dangerous world why not have it so that danger is something people get used to off the bat um the the uh booming sparks they're a bit different um i don't know how to handle them without them literally just being expended um but that's because they're walking grenades so here's a different way to handle it instead of boomy sparks why not just have them grenades like literal explosives um, because at that point, it may, like, it's not a consumable item with a face and personality to it. It's just a consumable item at that juncture. Um, God, there are so many, um, let's, you know, that's actually not too terrible. Where, where's the button? That one. So let's go over to this one and start setting up making like more um, sparks. So here, cool. Um, 
That will feed out that way. That's not great. But that way, on the other hand, so if I have it feed out this way, I can remove that. I could then have it go over here. Not great, but I could make it work. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Uh, actually, five is really all I need for this. Um. Not ideal, but it'll work. What are you? Carry Spark. Okay. I mean, that's technically closer. I'll go look at that. I might have to re um, readjust things, but that's not hard to do with this game. Oh no, I wouldn't be able to do that. That tree right there is just like... Can you guys make the algorithm make it so I could actually use this shit without needing the sword sparks? Like, it's pretty consistent now that every time I go to one of the big trees, it is mostly not in my favor until I get the sword sparks. I just can't make something using them. Just can't. Oh, right, yeah. Once I get one more, I'll put five more on the, the track. Um... I do need the saw bench.
Perfect. Oh, I can't do that yet anyway. All right. You know, while that's doing that, um... Yeah, let's take a look at this art, uh, arty spark. The hell is that about? I've got a sinking suspicion it's yet another disposable spark. And I... Range 3. I don't like the concept of that. Organize things a bit better. A splash of color feels nicer. It would if... If it is not an expendable spark. I like not having to micromanage and you have expendable anything and you start having to micromanage oh hey is this the perfect number almost yeah sweet Alright, well, while that's going, let's go ahead and drop, um, the crafty spark off. I realize the wooden panel I don't have the capabilities of doing yet. So what do you need? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, two loggers, two saw benches, 80. Mm -hmm. All right. Huh. Delivered. All right. I do like that when you look into their chest, it shows you
Cool. Can change up the recipe and get that going. Huh. Huh. Build two signs. Transport. Yeah, sure. There we go. Pretty compact way of doing things. Could I put in a third one? I mean, yeah. Can't put a, a fourth one in because of boundaries. But that's fine. Um, what did the... I'll get there eventually. Oh yeah, so that's it, so... Once that finishes up, that'll be completely handled. Um, the three of them is perfectly fine for that. Yeah, that might be overkill as far as the 
the wood transportation is concerned, but it's not that big of a deal. Make sure that all three of these are running constantly. Now they're being fed into that. It's not exactly going um, smoothly, but it's going a little better than I was expecting. I do like how this one, if you do this one properly, it's just transporting 40 panels. So after it's done, those 40 panels are yours to throw into the next thing, which is to give to the the Divine Researcher. that's going. I'm going to go and pick up the the remaining Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I should probably top that off. Not quite enough yet. But that's okay. I wish I could do a bit of terraforming, like raising land or lowering land. signs. One of that and two, so I'll need... No. Perfect. Thirty-six. See, this is probably one of the parts that I dislike about this. 37. Um, when it comes down to the the wooden panels, the sawn tum uh, timber, that's fine, because I can make tons of the crafting stations and do all that stuff. But for these, for making sparks, this is it. These stations are all I can do. 38. So I'm highly limited on how many of these things I can make. 
so they become even more of a, a bottleneck. Forty. All right, let's go ahead and tie off these two quests. Just straight north. Okay. Uh, once we get there, we'll drop the crafty sparks in and yeah. Bop, bop. Bop. Yeah, that's going to be way more than... Twenty-four... It won't take too much longer. I will say, I love the little details they have put in this game. All the more reason why I want to change my character's face. He's a smug bastard, and I don't feel like that's the type of character I'm playing. Two more. What? Huh? 
Hold up. All right. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Who are you two? Mm? Taylor? I've just got my hands on some quite ex uh, something quite exciting. Please take a look. Okay. Ah, that's actually pretty funny. Hundred percent going to try to grab that. It was free. I'm grabbing free. Neat. Oh. We've been crafting up a storm. Take a look at our new decorations. Okay. Okay, so these are decorative um, things that are just for aesthetics. All right. Oh, they're kind of made to be put around the the village, huh? Okay. Oh. Unlocked recycler located now can recycle items and turn them into aether residue. All right. How does that work? Don't have that. Don't have that. Copy tool. Copy, paste buildings, path, and more. That might be interesting, I suppose. The big slot. Um, I don't have bark, but let's go ahead and toss that in there before I forget. The trash aspect. Rush. I suppose I could do that. I don't really care about the rush because it still hasn't been useful to me, but at least it's unlocked now. Okay.
Okay, so this is the recycler stuff. Um, I didn't read what he had to say, and I feel bad about that. He's working on a, a replica of the ancient of a ancient waypoint. Have you figured it out yet? However, hearing about a, the new recycler, he thought about something already to carry out. Um, deliver 100 wood, 40 aether shards, and 10 stone. Oh yes, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, research notes, three shrines, bean looking, a bowl looking, and a knife looking. All right, yeah, this is, we'll worry about that later. I mean, why not have a, a few of them there? Um, no, you. Is that it? Okay. I'll talk to you later. Uh, just a second. Uh, you've unlocked the compressor. Build it to automatic, uh, automate recycling and to recycle more items at the same time. Um, this has produced incredible results. The compressor is an authentically, uh, aesthetically connected to the monument and it sends items directly to it for recycling. Very convenient. It'll take a little more time to reproduce the ancient uh, waypoint fully, but this is a great start. I like the hinting of that. So first and foremost, one thing I gotta do. Dump that in. Dump those in. There. All right. 
that's it for this episode. I will catch you all in the next one. Um, again, I'm not, I'm not sure how I feel about the. Yeah. Um. Ooh. Yes. The. No. Whoops. Apply an exit. Um. The arty sparks. I'm not sure how I feel about them. If you guys have run into those guys, uh, don't tell me just yet unless they are absolutely not worth the effort. Um, if they are worth some effort, don't let me know, and I'll run into them eventually. Until next time, have fun, be safe, and aloha.